Salutations. It is time for another round of Zelda Classic. Once again, this is Jason Feld, aka Wolfman2000. And at this point, I basically confirmed. I know I saved and quit in that dungeon, but we are sent back here. Okay. Sometimes it helps to confirm. We have the white sword. That should actually be our primary weapon. Stupid tech type. I do not feel like gambling. Let's take advantage of our feather here, shall we? We can jump over. I don't know what was hitting us, but oh well. Old man, I made you useless uh, in both prior videos. Now, what I want to do... Technically, we already have the raft. So we can already go to level 1-4. The snake. The snake is one of those first difficult levels. It's also the first level that you normally encounter a mid-boss. Ah, the buyers. Wait. That's the critical ring. That's also the critical ring. There we go. If the critical ring does not take into effect, then you can't, uh, then they split up into keys. Wait, what? This is new. Two new types of whiz robes already. Fireball robes, and what do these do? Or are they just invisible warping robes? Also, the key room that I skip, I'm pretty sure only contains the compass. Alright. If I'm going based off of the original level 1 logic, there should only be one treasure item here. The fact that I'm going into a level 1-4 instead of finishing all the lower ones that we may be pushing our normal ordering here. And our health. Normally, you would get the ladder two rooms east of up here. Uh, we have to go through this way anyway. Come on, Critical Ring B. Nice. Well... Be nice with heart giving. Okay, you see those uh, ugly, moving, pulsating, pig headed slugs for a butt? No, wait, that's our form gem. These are like likes. If they grab you, they will not take you to the beginning of the dungeon. However, if you don't kill them very quickly while you're grabbed, you will lose that big shield of yours. And what? I made a very good choice to come in here. This is the Lens of Truth. The Lens of Truth, in the old days of Zelda Classic, was powered by money. In other words, it, it would have been the worst enemy of King Dodongo of the group of weirdos fanfic fame. Yes, I'm actually giving fanfics some credit. It's actually a good fanfic series 3, you should check it out. Instead, though, this one is actually powered by magic. Oh, yeah, the reason I jumped that, I should reveal that. Yeah, I'm, as I said, I'm taking shortcuts. I'll leave you alone for now. Money! 
We'll also want that. We'll also want that. And also want that in case we need an escape. And what's gonna be helpful up ahead? I don't know. Now, I probably should not have bombed those to better demonstrate the lens of truth, but we'll do that very soon. What are they firing? Ah, single! Okay, so it either... S I get it now. Ah, I need to do that. Yeah, it's... This is no longer the Zelda classic I remember. Much less the first quest. This is gonna make things interesting. Alright, what's up ahead? It's probably gonna be the mid-boss. Manhandler! And I... Gotta love a slashing sword. I've already done that. <laughs> in in the original Zelda one, checking behind the waterfall would give you a hint. Thing. Ah, big key, okay. Now, is there anything in this room I never remember? Or anything worthwhile, I should say. I didn't think so. I remember in the original first quest, that used to be a shuttered door. And you had to push a block to open it. Oh, it worked for that door instead. Sneaky. And Gliok again. Now that we have a good sword, we can employ the slashing technique much better. a good use for those jewels. Ah, just what the doctor ordered. More health. Now we could just leave that way, but I want to be cheap. And that is how to complete a level 4, or rather a level dash 4 dungeon, before level dash 3. But what about the original dash 3? Alright, patience, patience, we're right in the area. Plus, this will give me a good excuse to test out the Lens of Truth. The Lens of Truth uses magic. You get a mini circleish area. Ah, that's what I wanted. And if I remember correct... Did I already get this one? Ah, and I was correct. That ring I picked up in 1-2 did recover my magic. Alright. I already got that one. Well, I want to double check. I could have sworn. Entering here temporarily. Okay, I'm almost positive that every single give me money is is equivalent has the equivalent take my money. Oh, was it? Sometimes this dungeon warping is gonna come in handy. All right, what I intended on doing. was to go into the original level 3. Freaky eye. This is the Manji. This is where you would originally fight the Zoros. Good opportunity to refill our money, too. Ah, yes, Dark Nuts were originally destroyed here. Now, if you caught it quickly, the Lens of Truth 
revealed where you could burn bushes. Did you see that? It also reveals where you can blow stuff up. I'm pretty sure it also reveals where you can walk through walls. Basically, we've got something very handy. Plus, thanks to that magic ring that we picked up, at some point we know our magic will recharge so that we basically can use our Lens of Truth as much as we want. Sometimes it's good to just be overpowered. However, if you're interested in an underpowered or underleveled or under-equipped challenge, um, there's a Let's Player called uh, Rowan Mithril, who is doing a minimalist run of the original Legend of Zelda. I believe he recently completed the Manji Dungeon, this one. And for those that don't know what a minimalist challenge is, Basically, you are only allowed to take what is required to beat the game. This white sword that I'm using? Nope, it's no good. Bombs? You can only carry up to the original eight. Boots? Wait, there were no boots. Okay, if I remember my Zelda Classic lore correctly, there are three types of boots. Uh, the positioning will tell me I want to test. Geese, I need you here so I can test. Geese, get... Yes, I was actually trying to jump on a bat. There is a reason for this. One of the boots allows you to actually stomp on an enemy, Mario style. I can't tell if that did that. I know it's not the hover-style boots, because I would have been floating, so these could very well be the uh, damage protection boots. Let's test on the give though. Okay, it's the, it's the uh, damage protection boots. Yes, I actually did all that just to prove it. Open up, please. I did. Ah, this time we had to go this way. Good place to hide the big key. Don't repeat yourself. You don't get the option to just talk to an old man. He always has to talk when you enter. Now let's still try to save our keys. There's our manji. Now, I'm curious. Oh, don't tell me I didn't even need... Ugh. If you don't have bombs, you'd have to go through this way and use your normal style. Big key to get through. However, I can assure you that bombs are going to be very recommended. Because once again, the man handler. I will admit, having a multi-slashing sword makes things go much quicker. Alright. Now, we have completed a number of levels, but in this case, I want to actually... Okay, I'm random mic glitch. I'm just going to ignore it. In this case, we need another item to access some of the other level 3s, or in order to do much of anything. I think my lens is probably going to be a mainstay at this rate. Hi, Aquamentus! Hi, Aquamentus!
Now, we could have just gone here. Alright, if I remember correctly... Hmm, which way do I want to go? Yeah. It really has been a while since I've been... Okay, I'm pretty sure the boots I have would protect me with those spikes. Question... However, since I have the step ladder, I can't... Actually, I could. Yep. I cannot be damaged by the spikes. <laughs> and they don't take magic from me either. These keys drop the compass. We, we did not pick up the compass in one of the prior dungeons, but as we've established, it's not always needed. Which way do I want to go? Which way? Now, I don't remember if I have to go this way yet. I'm trying to save my keys. So we'll just come back. Alright. Anytime it fades slowly, you know it's a passageway. And the boss is very close by, so we know how to get to the boss. We just don't want the boss yet. Be gentle with the lens of truth here. I'm reasonably sure that there are more magic rings that will increase the speed of the regeneration. There's also a magic, extra magic container upgrade I want. And I may just end up, may just end up doing that at this rate. Nothing good here, which means we have to go up. The only problem that I have with this designed room is I'm pretty sure this block could be movable in certain rooms. I'm gonna hope that doesn't trick me later. By my luck, it will. Going through here, traps, and we know the boss is up, up above us, so... And that room took us there. Okay, we don't need to use that key. That's good. Ah, that's a good sign that there's an item hidden. The normally continuous blocks have broken up. And I think I know this particular structure. So... Temporarily block the path. This was not what I meant, but it may help anyway. The map is is named Bomb, so I think we're at the fuse at this point. So I'm not even going to use my lens of truth down to check the southern room, southern walls. Ah. This is something I should explain. Each dungeon can have zero or one rooms like this. This is where you would normally spend rupees, usually around 100, to increase your bomb capacity in the old style quests. Here? Free stuff. So let's take advantage of the generosity. Go this way. Now, we still don't have a big key, so we're still gonna have to find that in order to even get to the boss. Now, since this is shaped like a bum, I'm pretty sure there's no way to go up. No way to go left either. So we'll go down. Okay. 
may be something down there is. However, something's telling me... That's what I was... Okay, enough with the heart containers, I'd like utilities. Now some would say this is considered a utility, but... Whatever. Well, if nothing else, mo the modern Zelda... Ah, there's our key. Makes it a little easier to tell when and where you're gonna get some certain items. Let's see, if I remember correctly, that room is just not gonna lead anywhere, which means if I wanted to head in there, I have to go around. Okay. Around I go. But I want to go up first. Up and around. The secret is located on the coast. Well, there's plenty of secrets to find on the coast. Okay, that's a slightly dickish move. Alright. I'm thinking of. Okay, there's a passageway here, but I don't think I want this one. Uh, oh, yeah, so, certain quests you can actually be damaged by your own bombs or candles. Let's test that actually. Okay, you can't be damaged by any of your stuff. More dark nuts. And here's our map. The bomb. I am reasonably sure that's that uh, lone isolated room. That's where these stairs go. So we're going to ignore it. Instead, we have to try to remember back where the boss was located. Or the stairway to the boss. I'm pretty sure he was on this path. And I'm pretty sure you had to go this way. Yeah, in there. I know, a little late to start humming the music and doing a sync test, but whatever. With long recordings, I haven't fully grasped the full syncing lag stuff. Still, I think this is already a better attempt at doing this than my original Let's Play that I did for Terraria. Anyone that saw that, my condolences. Oh yeah, the easier way for the smoke. Have him swallow a bomb and quickly place another. Okay, this is a scroll. I just don't remember which one it is. Scrolls are basically like the old tiger scrolls from the Minish Cap series, and I think Four Swords Adventures, too. Now, I want to say... I'm probably going to be very wrong on this. That's, that scroll is either... a, ha a hammer space scroll. Yes, there's a hammer in this game. Or it could be... At this point, I'm just guessing. There is a uh, Zelda Classic Wiki to look this stuff up. It's uh, somewhere on shardstorm.com. I don't fully remember. Ah, bomb. Ooh, beautiful. I have to remember to come here in the light oval world. And this, in the uh, first quest, this used actually both quests originally info. I don't think we need you, though. Probably state something about taking a certain path to... 
get to a certain level, and speaking of level... I wouldn't be surprised if that's a level right there. But we'll do that one later. Now, I haven't actually shown off... ...the starting overworld screen in the dark overworld. Looks very similar. If you go in there, you'll get back to the first overworld, as we demonstrated. We're not gonna do that. Instead, we're going to... There you are. Old Woman Potion Shop. Now, I know where uh, level 3-1 is, but I don't want to go there yet. We probably should, I know, but... I want to start some of the scouting here. And we can actually go into any dungeon we want in any order here. Well, almost any. I really think it's going to be recommended to... to take certain dungeons, or at least complete all the early round stuff first. Like, complete all the ones, twos, and threes before trying anything else. I should have remembered that one. Secret to everyone, which probably means the initial one is... Or the other overworld is, uh, paying money. And that I should have remembered, because these screens are identical. Okay, one of those two was originally a gambling house, I know that much. But it doesn't matter what things originally were. Only what things are now. Hmm, what a sworn uh wait. The fact that it shows that, that means this should be a dungeon. The whistle dungeon. We'll come back to there and uh we'll bomb this for now. Seriously, stop with the quiver upgrades and let me actually have a bow to shoot with. That's so much to ask. Knowing this game, yes. Let's see, we have the ladder. We could go over there. There used to be the heart container there. I don't know. Whoa. Freebie! You know the magic container was... Okay, magic container's in the light side. We'll be heading to the light side in just a moment. Okay, another scroll. The red one... I want to say this one... I'm gonna get this wrong, probably. Okay, it's an upgrade, because it went from blue to red. It could possibly be a charge quicker scroll. I don't remember. For now, though, I want more magic to work with. Did I go down far enough? Okay. There's gotta be a secret involving that. Perhaps there are some secrets that not even the lens can uncover. Gotta remember these shortcut keys and they're where they're located. There we go. Ah, so one ring was hidden in the overworld after all. The blue 
ring cuts your damage in half. Or rather, it cuts the damage that's done to you in half. Another shop here. More money. Now, I don't know if it's showing well in the recording here, but normally the Armos flash a bit. Or indicating that they're going to move. Ooh! Even more magic. Right. So now, which way do I go? We're actually going to be a little brave again. Actually, no, we can't do that. Actually, we could be a little sneaky, but no, no, that wouldn't work. Alright. Actually, let's try something. We're going to do something very, um, unconventional. We're actually going to head into level 1-5. We will not be able to complete 1-5 in our current state. We are specifically here for a simple mission. Grab the items, and stop. the blue Gibdos that normally take a lot of damage. And these are the blue Dark Nuts that are going to be your worst nightmare. Even with the blue ring, it's... better hope that your critical ring basically takes over. Yeah, I really should call the blue ring the blue armor ring at this rate. One distinguishing feature about this level is that this passageway takes you to both of the items in this level hidden by key doors. One of them is blocked by this set of blue dark nuts. Where having this multi-slash is going to be very cheap and effective. And we have another scroll. another upgrade to what we've picked up before. But since we can't even use it... <sighs> There's some irony in this. I just know it. Ah, well, what do you know? The big key was here, so we had to come through anyway. Good to know. I believe I mentioned already King Dodongo from the uh, Group of Weirdos fanfic. He would love this item. This is a wealth medal. To really demonstrate this, uh, we need to warp out of here. And warp out again. And this is actually going to be a perfect spot to test. Notice anything? Our prices have gone down. Looks like by 25%. That means this super bomb is mine. And as the old man disappears, so a lot. This has been another round of Modern Zelda. Tune in next time when there are two items I really want. I just have to remember how to find them. At this rate, it's going to either be in uh, 5 2, 3 1, 3 2, or 4 2 that has what I need. One of them has to anyway, I hope. Have a good night.